hello my dear students in this session let us discuss about the microbial spoilage of meat and poultry products as we all know skin is said to be one of the important uh, organ or important barrier which prevents the entry of invading pathogenic microorganisms once the meat products are processed and the flesh of meat is ready then that meat is highly susceptible to the spoilage of microbial contamination this might be due to its rich nutritive value similar to the case of fruits and vegetables along with this this has the protein rich protein content in it and also there are various other factors for example there are my other microbiota present in the meat products which are already inside the meat and these microbiota present inside the meat can also start degrading or deteriorating the meat products how do you observe whether the meat is spoiled or not this we can do with the visual observation and along with this the flavor content texture order are some of the signs which indicates the spoilage of microorganisms broadly microbial spoilage of meat can be grouped into aerobic and anaerobic microorganisms the aerobic microorganisms can spoil the surface of the meat by going on to the surface for example acinobacter streptococcus bacillus micrococcus alkaligen pseudomonas are some of the microorganism which grows on to the surface at the same time there are various other species like uh, leuconostoc uh, which which try to changes the color of this meat product and other species like acromobacter which changes the composition of fat content in the meat and along with this you have surface change in the surface color or spot by serratia pseudomonas plebobacterium penicillium species etc at the same time we also have other anaerobic group of microorganism which causes gas production and storing of meat product and there are may various types of microorganisms which causes eutrophication example is clostridium species so in order to preserve the meat majority of the population chooses or prefer refrigeration but there are certain pathogenic microorganism which also grows at sacrophilic temperature <coughs> example pseudomona species which try to proliferate slowly at refrigerating temperature and it causes meat spoilage in the refrigerator and this can be monitored with change in the texture and of orders of the meat similarly mesophilic bacteria such as clostridium can cause spoilage of meat by producing gases and of flavors and lactobacillus species can cause fermentation of uh, meat and similarly e coli and other enterobacter species are reported to cause meat spoilage and this might be due to the cross contamination along with this you have aspergillus and penicillium species 
which can easily grow onto the meat surfaces. Similarly, Streptococcus uh, cephalococcus aureus sometimes becomes harmful when you consume the improper meat products. Proteolytic bacteria, for example, Brocothrix species can cause proteolytic activity leading to the protein breakdown and which results in the spoilage of the meat product. Like we, likewise, Micrococcus species can contribute to the oxidative spoilage leading to the rancidity in the meat fat. So these were some of the common uh, characteristics of meat spoilage due to the action of microorganism. Now let us move on to the microbial spoilage of poultry products. Poultry products similar to that of meat are rich in nutritive composition and high water content which leads various bacteria and fungi to grow onto this uh, surface and inside the meat and can lead to microbial spoilage. Here are the list of my pathogenic microorganisms which are associated to cause spoilage of poultry, poultry meat and its products such as egg. These list are very common bacteria which are reported to cause microbial spoilage both in vegetables, fruits, meat and now in the case of poultry products. Lactobacillus species, Clostridium, Pseudomonas species, E. coli, Enterobacter species, Klebsiella, Aspergillus, Penicillium, Candida, Micrococcus, etc. So, how do you preserve the meat and poultry products? There are various techniques which are very common for both uh, fruit, for fruits, vegetables, and the meat products. But here you can use smoke as well in order to increase the shelf life of the meat products. And along with this, the improper cook or undercooked food if you consume then this can lead to food poisoning and other health implications. So in order to avoid all such things, you need to cook properly and have safe consumption or fresh consumption of meat products and avoid the packaged meat products which is having which which can lead to food uh, poisoning so with this let me conclude this video which gives an overview on the types of microflora responsible for the spoilage of meat and poultry products See you in my next video. Until then, have a nice time ahead. Goodbye.